Hi, I'm Dr. Dataram. I'm a surgical gastroenterologist and a GIHPB oncosurgeon, advanced laparoscopic surgeon at Kim's Hospital, uh, Gachiboli, Hyderabad. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about a common condition called gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, as you all know. So, gastroesophageal reflux disease means reflux of stomach contents and the reflux of acid in the stomach into the esophagus. This is a very common condition. Generally, 10 to 15 percent of the population, some or the other time in their life, they suffer reflux symptoms. The esophagus of the food pipe is located in the chest and the stomach is located in the abdomen. Chest and abdomen are separated by a thin flat muscle called as the diaphragm. So the esophagus enters the stomach through the diaphragm. The opening where it enters the stomach is called as the hiatus. The hiatus is also surrounded by a strong muscle called as the crura. Part of the esophagus about 3 to 4 centimeters is inside the tummy. So the stomach is the only organ in the body which makes acid. To prevent the reflux, there is there are multiple mechanisms which are there in the body, uh, like the esophageal peristalsis. The lower end of the esophagus is uh, modified into a strong muscle called as the lower esophageal sphincter, which keeps the esophagus tight and prevents reflux of the stomach contents into the uh, esophagus. Not only that, in the diaphragmatic crura, which is also holds the esophagus tight. These few things prevent reflux of contents of stomach into the esophagus. So what are the symptoms of acid reflux? Most of the patients present with burning chest pain. Some people may have mild symptoms, some people may have uh, very terrible symptoms. It depends on person to person. So some people, they find it difficult to eat food because it causes burning, it causes pain in the lower chest. Some people also do have severe spasms of the esophagus and severe chest pain. Not only that, because those there is a reflux, some people complain of regurgitation of food, that is food coming into the mouth. And in extreme cases, especially uh, this reflux when it happens in the night, so because the refluxing or the regurgitating contents go into the airway and the lungs, they have a recurrent, a recurrent cough or uh, repeated episodes of cough or chronic cough or they may have asthma, worsening of existing asthma, they may have repeated respiratory tract infections and change in the voice. So they may have these are called as extra esophageal symptoms. What are the complications of acid reflux? So as I said, a lot of patients may have very mild symptoms, but some people will have very terrible symptoms and severe reflux and have uh, and may get complications of the disease. The complications are the acid reflux may erode the uh, esophagus. It may cause multiple erosions in the esophagus. It may cause ulcerations in the esophagus. The ulcerations may bleed. They may have develop anemia and. Uh, some people, when, the, when there is deep erosion, they may develop strictures, that is narrowing of the esophagus due to scarring. This is called as peptic strictures of the esophagus. People who have very severe esophagitis and uh, severe reflux, they may also develop peptic strictures. When the esophagus gets narrowed, they may find it difficult to swallow food. Because of the narrowing, the food doesn't go down and they may develop vomiting. So there is a very severe complication of acid reflux. So what are the tests to be done for patients who have especially an upper GI endoscopy. This test will help to diagnose if there is any complication of the acid reflux. Like say if you have uh, an associated hernia and you can also assess how lax the sphincter is and you have erosions, any bleeding, any ulceration or narrowing of the esophagus. So other important test is patients when there is normal endoscopy and you have symptoms are doubtful then or if you are contemplating surgery, we advise a test called 24 hour pH monitoring, OPD based procedure wherein uh, it is done for 24 hours and the pH of the esophagus is measured with the help of some electrodes placed into the esophagus. So this one important test will help you in diagnosing acid reflux and uh, last but not the least is manometer. If you are contemplating surgery for acid reflux then uh, it is advisable to have a esophageal manometer before you go for a surgery. Coming to the treatment for acid reflux, so majority of the patients can be managed medically because most of the patients have very trivial or very minor or minimal symptoms. First and foremost is uh, lifestyle modifications. So diet becomes an important part of acid reflux management. Patients are advised not to take spicy foods, junk foods, pizza, uh, ca caffeinated drinks, uh, carbonated drinks, coffee, etc. So that they uh, chocolates, all these things which are junk foods can aggravate your reflux, better to avoid these foods, especially carbonated drinks. So whenever you have take carb carbonated drinks, that will efface the G junction and uh, the reflux worsens. And other important thing is when you sleep, you are advised to, uh, it's better to have, to raise the head end of the bed. So raising the head end of the bed uh, prevents uh, significantly the acid reflux during the night. 
So weight loss, weight loss is another important uh, thing in medical management because if you are obese, the chance of reflux is very high. If you lose weight, significant uh, resolution of symptom uh, does happen with weight loss alone. Smoking and alcohol both aggravate acid reflux. So if you quit smoking and stop drinking alcohol, your symptoms may uh, improve significantly.